what's going on Aries and thank you guys so much for tuning in so January mid-month now this is going to be from the dates of about January 15th to February 15th so keep that in mind guys and this will be for Sun Moon rising and Venus Aries signs the energy could be transferable guys so it could be you that I'm picking up on it could be the environment around you a person around you so let's see what is going on for you guys January mid-month 2020 for my Aries. Okay. So we have past, present, and future. Okay, guys. So the energy here is the seven of cups in the reverse. So I always see this as a very good thing. This is making an important decision, especially if you had many options to choose from. Um, this is seeing clarity. This is finally being able to see clearly kind of like after a fog. Okay. And yeah, it's like something is chosen and it brings something great into your life. Something that may have to do with travel or something that just takes off very quickly. But you guys are definitely going onto a new stage that's going to be very, you know, exciting for you. Okay. Now, starting with the past, the first card that we have here is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is when someone is in a place where they're really standing their ground. There could be a lot of pressure on you. Okay, but you're still pushing through you're being very very resilient and one thing you know i really want to mention with this card is this is usually when a person is feeling the heaviest about something like you know is this going to work out and it could be the point where a lot of people quit but it's also the point where you're about to have you know this huge breakthrough all right so we have the queen of pentacles and we have the knight of wands in the reverse so there could have been something that had to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? But with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, if this isn't someone who's being like promiscuous in love, it could be someone who has like creative blockages, someone who's just like being irresponsible for whatever reason, okay? So maybe this has to do with your finances, maybe you're responsible about that, um, you know, maybe it's a love situation that has to do with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and someone here maybe can't be trusted, we have the lover's card in the reverse and we have the queen of wands so you guys you know that could be your energy right there or the energy of another fire sign around you so uh leo aries sagittarius okay but you still have that earth energy there as well okay so this could have been financial for a lot of you but i see you guys really tuning into yourself and honing into yourself okay definitely needing to because there's definitely a sense of mistrust here with the high priestess in the reverse someone sees something for what it is their soul knows the truth of it but they're doubting things um this could just be you not being confident in yourself maybe um you're trying to start a business or something but you doubt the success you'll have with it we have the king of swords And the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, someone's really thinking about how to get something through. Um, they really want to push forward with something. But again, I don't feel like the confidence is 100% there. And it could be because at the same time, you realize that something wasn't going to work out for you. So maybe there was some sort of failure, whether it was in a relationship or a job or something. Um, and this kind of has you on edge. Okay, because I see someone who's being overly defensive now and overly protective um, to the point where it could hinder something that wants to happen for you. Okay, so the last card that we have for the past is the Queen of Cups. So this could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy, or someone who's just really trying to get to a stable and, you know, emotionally stable place. So why is this Queen of Cups here? Knight of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Six of Swords. So yeah, I feel like there's definitely things, guys, that are testing you. It's like you want this emotional stability. You want to be good. Okay? And I see you 
working really, really hard on that, but having to just release bad habits or bad people, okay? Knowing that if you protect yourself, there is something new coming in. And in this case, whatever this is could have led or could be leading to a lot of money or just a situation that makes you feel very happy and makes you feel very abundant, okay? So in the present moment, the first card, two of wands in the reverse, okay? Uh, feeling like maybe you're not on the right path. Um, maybe your passions or your efforts aren't being directed in the right way, okay? But something is off. Five of Pentacles. It could be you also just dealing with something that you have no passion in anymore. And the Ten of Pentacles. Whether this is financial um, or, you know, with love, whatever the situation is. Upon rejecting something, and it's something where something just wasn't fair or something is just in jest in some way, shape, or form. Um, you guys come across something very good. Okay. There's something in your life right now that is throwing you off the path you're really meant to be on. Okay. Now, the next card that we have, and this is the center of your reading, we have the Three of Pentacles. So with the Three of Pentacles, I'm sorry, guys, I keep like cracking my knuckles. Again, something's being built and it's being built in a cohesive manner. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Um, some of you are reconciling with an ex or reconciling from someone from the past. Some of you could be meeting a past life soulmate. And soulmates, it doesn't always have to be love, guys. It could be um, a friend soulmate. You know, someone that just gets you and they get your heart. But there's something that really comes into your life strongly. For some of you, I don't know if I said this already, but um, could be a past life lover. And it's like this is all happening while there's some sort of blockage around. Okay, so there's just so much happening where you guys are really in your head about this. Nine of Swords. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Seven of Swords in the reverse. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is worried about something coming to light, um, a truth coming out, because they know that this truth is going to cause some sort of imbalance. Um, maybe it would cause you to lose your job. Maybe it would cause you to lose a lover. Maybe it would cause just someone not to trust you, whether it be like a family member or a friend. Or, you know, this could be vice versa as well. But if anything is foul right now, if anyone's manipulating a situation, I do see that coming up. Okay. Moving forward, uh, you know, in the future, Ace of Swords in the Reverse is your first card. So this could be a mental blockage, okay? You not uh, thinking properly, maybe something ending um, in a problematic way. This could be people arguing. All right, justice card in the reverse. And four of cups in the reverse. Um, there's going to be an offer that is accepted, whether it be by you or maybe you're watching someone accept some sort of offer. And I see this causing drama. Okay, regardless of how you feel in this, it does show that you're dodging a bullet, but it's like you're mentally not able to get past something. Um, and again, this could be someone not being mentally able to get past something with you. Okay, we have the page of swords, guys. So the main theme that I'm really feeling is truth. A lot of truth is going to come out. Um, if there's anything that hasn't been said before, hasn't been admitted before, I see it getting to that point. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. The truth will set you free, guys. The truth will bring you balance. Uh, this truth could have to do with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or it could just put you in a place where you're thinking with a very stable mindset, you know, one foot in front of the other, taking your time um, and just moving forward strategically, okay? But I feel like there's going to be some sort of inner battle that you're dealing with, okay? 
we have the ten of wands so this yeah there's definitely something or a truth that could bring burden to somebody okay two of swords and we have the five of swords so yeah guys um a truth has to come out and it will come out and it's going to make you realize that whether it's with you or someone around you somebody was being thrown off their life path because of a situation or a person around them okay and someone's really between a rock and a hard place what should they do you know i'm not sure about things but deep down inside your gut knows what the right thing is you just have to be still and quiet enough for a moment to hear it okay i see you guys being very strong i see you guys healing if you're the ones who are feeling any sort of disappointment here and you have the wheel of fortune okay so even if you feel like you're on the short end of whatever this is life takes a very positive change and this is something again that comes in very strongly okay okay Aries so let's see what your guidance cards are for the month sort of guidance can I give you guys this month what the spirit have to say moon card ten of wands in reverse devil card in reverse the truth will set you free um the truth is going to really unshackle some chains for sure um regardless of the initial reaction to this guys it's a huge heavy burden off your shoulders for sure okay and it could have to do with something that's just not gonna work out for you something that you're still dealing with right now We have the nine of swords in the reverse so now it's like even though this is difficult it cuts out a lot of worry okay somebody could be angry about something that just didn't work out in their favor um but it was something that was unnatural at this point it was something that was like kind of forced someone's definitely having a hard time letting this go although again it does release a lot of burden um just with seeing and feeling this energy the best way i can relate it to and this is like just from something i've felt before in the past and I, this is like the best way i could describe it but let's say you're like in some sort of abusive relationship because that happened to me years ago where shit was just like crazy but when you finally get out and it's like there's this huge peace and you know your soul's at peace it's like but you still feel this crazy sense of love for that motherfucker you know so it's just like you're so relieved but it's like you're still hurt at the same time so it's that sort of thing where it's like you can breathe now you're good but there's still some sort of attachment that you have to that or that someone around you had to something okay so very interesting guys so if you guys want to check out any of my social medias, you can find me on Instagram. My personal Instagram is highvibrations44. My tarot Instagram is highvibrationstarot. And if you guys need a reading, just check the description below. All of my information is there. Take care, guys.